Hi, welcome to a Cartier V5 video tutorial. It's a remake of an old one, now in HD and with audio commentary. It's the Nokia 3.16. And I want to show you at least three versions of this part. So, let's have fun with Cartier V5. Okay, let's start with the sketches and therefore I want to use a geometrical set. So let's go for insert geometrical set. Call this one no name needed, so just confirm it. And let's go for a sketch on the Y set plane. Hide as usual the yellow projected elements. I need circles one and I don't want to snap on anything. Another one, and another one, try to not snap, okay. Now let's add some constraints. So this one should be aligned here, coincident. And again, on this one, coincident, this one on that one, coincident, give it a distance of 72 millimeter. This should be 40. This should be 32, this one 130, and this one 140. Now let's arrange them a little bit, maybe like this, and the other one. maybe like that. Now add some tangency constraints. Like that. Let's trim. Okay, leave that sketch and I need another sketch on the same plane. Now it still was selected. Now it should work. Okay, hide these as usual and let's make a circle. This should be 40. And this point should be coincident on this axis. Coincident and again on this one as well. Leave that sketch. Okay, at first I want to use a thick or let's say thin pad. That's the active open body. So if I go for an extrude, it will switch automatically to the part body. Okay, see. And I want to use this sketch. It should be a mirrored extend and I want to go for five millimeters. And it should be a thick pad and the thickness to one side should be 10 millimeters. Looks okay. Confirm. 
Now I want to use the same sketch for another extrude. Again it's mirrored extend, but now I want it to be 2.5 millimeter in thickness. Another extrude with this one. Again mirrored extend. Now 10 millimeter. Okay. Now I want to reorder that pad, so go here, right click, pad 3 object, reorder, I want it to reorder. after pad 1 okay let's make this the object which is in work go for 8 millimeter fillets on this edge here and that edge over there, cover. Now make this the object which is in work. Now I want to add a hole, so select the surface or just the edge, the edge here. Go for the hole tool, select the face, it should be centered. It should go through all or up to the next or last. Diameter should be 20 millimeters and OK. And my first version is done. For the next version I will reuse those two sketches. But I need a new body, so let's go for insert body. Yes, that's OK, it will be put right there and hide this body and I want to use those two hidden sketches so bring them back and I want to go for surfaces or maybe do the shell variant first let's go for the shell variant first so let's make an extrude with that sketch make it 5 millimeter and mirrored extend. Okay. Now let's make a shell. It should be 10 millimeter to the inside. And I want to remove this surface here and that on the back. Confirm. Now let's make another extrude. Now with that sketch, go for mirrored extend and go for 10 millimeter okay let's add the fillets 8 millimeter on this edge and that edge confirm use sketch 1 do another extrude make it again mirrored extend now 2.5 and finally the hole select the circular edge go for the hole feature then select the surface 20 millimeter up to the last that's okay and confirm and my second version is done as well okay for the last version i want to use surfaces and that thickness tool or thick surface tool. Now I will need a new body. So go for insert body right there. Let's reorder this. Move that body one up. Hide body two and show this geometrical set. You don't need those sketches to be visible but it's just for convenience now let's switch to our generative shape design environment or workbench and let's go for an extrude with that sketch it should be mirrored extend and the dimensions should be five millimeter 
of another extrude this one here again mirrored extend now 10 millimeter then I want to create a planar surface and therefore I want to split this plane with that sketch so go for the split select that plane here and use that sketch as tool and I want to switch to the other side and confirm then I want to split this surface with that surface that's okay and confirm let's make body 3 the working body okay and now I can use that thickness tool but therefore I have to go to my part design workbench now let's go for thickness and maybe start with this one reverse direction make it 10 millimeter now let's thicken the surface that would be 2.5 in one direction and 2.5 in the other direction like that and again thickness with this one reverse direction make it 10 millimeter make it zero and confirm now I want To suppress or deactivate this thick surface because I want to do my fillets I could hide the geometrical set I will encounter some problems but I will show you how to solve them so let's suppress this surface by deactivating it like that if I now do the fillets 8 millimeter on this edge and that edge and confirm if I bring back that surface here I will get an error message because those two edges are missing that's kind of strange because if you do it in Invento or maybe in, even in Siemens NX this will work but how to solve that problem I have to reorder those elements I have to reorder that surface behind that fillet so go for this thick surface right click go for reorder and move it after that edge fillet and this should work now make this the work object and see it works and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this one, hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me also on Instagram, GrabCat or Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.